so before you go any further uh, there's a thing that uh, this video is divided into two parts the first one is uh, uh, the modeling part which is actually a time-lapse video i am not gonna you know and that in the next part of rendering i'm gonna tell you each step
so hello everyone and so let's start the rendering so i use this particular image for the reference which i have modeled and you must have seen this in the 3ds max video so let's start the screen shot uh, key shot well, i'm actually thinking of starting a you know the tutorial series on the key shot from you know the very beginning to the the projects uh, right now i am working on a, a series on grasshopper and after finishing i, I am going to work on key shot so subscribe if you want to learn screenshot in the meanwhile let's do it so the first thing that which i have done here is import the, my model which is uh, in fbx form which was exported from 3ds max now i can, can see the model here so you can see the various parts here this one is nonsense we don't need this one this was just for reference and uh, you can see we there are the parts so i'll be starting from actually the glass surface and uh, you can see that from the top let me hide everyone here first so first i'm gonna edit these two guys and uh, in these two i have done you know no sort of complex thing i just use solid glass not frosted yes glass like actually i have already made this one so i just have to put their values so let's edit them so the transparency distance which i took was 10 centimeter and yes um the units uh, i messed up with units in 3ds max so the units that you will see here don't go for them we'll just look at the numbers and the refract index I took was 1.8 and the roughness was point yes, 0.00528 so I am done with this outer glass stuff and the next one is the liquid liquid is necessary without liquid you can't do anything so I have done liquid from here let's go to the liquid I put this one here cloudy orange soda bubble so I put this into my liquid, we get the thing. And uh, you know, it's kind of visible here. Go to the material graph. I don't want plastic cloudy. I am bringing glass here, unit materials. I am bringing glass here. Um, let me see what's, yes, this one. I have a glass here right now the surface and the refractive index value which I took was 1.192 so if you want to see the liquid so this is the liquid portion actually which you cannot see right now but you will no I don't want GPA array yes so let's edit the material material node edit material go to material graph so we're gonna do some cool stuff right now here let me put it here yes so we are in so next thing that we are gonna do is bring a uh, texture diffuse texture which i got it from internet uh, i got it let me put it here yep i got it now the next thing is placing it so double click we got it press c and uh, let's move and the size yes the size the size is 1307.2 and this one changes itself move texture right now and uh, there's a thing I'm gonna go with the part. Just bring it down. I want this cloudy thing at the bottom. So we've got a lot of bubbles and everything. Yes, we're done. So press C again to take you out. Yes, we got something here. 
so let's bring color composite color adjust actually we're gonna adjust few things here no few properties here yes uh, i have changed the properties of the texture the brightness is five and uh, contrast is a little bit higher 1.5 i'm gonna blend it with the color yellow i mean you need the yellow for beer i think this is nice we're done so let's connect the color adjust with this guy i mean if you have any texture and you want to change its color property you can color change it with color adjust why we are using color adjust uh, you will know in the end so we're gonna actually animate the liquid with this color adjust so it will be done in the last next thing is the bubble we want bubbles here so let's first bring a texture i got these textures from internet and i'm using them so this one is pretty nice for that purpose and i guess i need to edit the texture too i mean texture is fine yes there's no change in texture here so i'm gonna play with some bubble properties yes so let's play There's too much light in this environment. So double click on bubbles. I'm changing the properties that is 2.635 here. And the size variation is a little bit lower. Now I want density to be lower to 0 0.0102. Uh, and the bubble limit actually decides like uh, how many millions bubble do you want in this one so i don't want high numbers so i will decide this give me time yes so let's find our bubbles there's too much shadow let's see can we see anything do we have a bubble? let's increase the size Let me hide this line and uh, bubble limit. We need uh, bubble limit, and uh, what if I increase the density? Oh, I forgot one thing. Actually, there's a thing that um, let me apply values again. Yes, so there's a thing with the geometry nodes. They don't actually apply themselves. You have to click on this particular icon geometry nodes and it will you know update it so let's change now uh, we need to change the values 2.635 is fine i need little bit variation density i want uh, lesser bubbles it's okay let them be a bubble limit let's increase it and execute geometry Well, we got something because we got black surface here. Um, let me lower the bubble limit here and uh, density a little bit lower, a lot lower, I guess. Geometry would again apply. Yes, we got bubbles actually. Um, my hardware is not able to show it right now, but the, all the black things which you're seeing, and you can see bubbles actually, not by this one. So, I think I need uh, lesser bubble limit, 0 0.0232 is enough. Okay, let me turn down this one, then let's add density. And geometry node. Takes time. Yes, we've got bubbles, you can see it. Um, then I plug this one, we can see the bubbles, now you can see the bubbles, yeah, little bubbles. So we are done with liquid here, 
we got a little we got a pretty liquid here and uh, we are done with the outer surface now let's do wonders next thing is pretty much interesting and let's see so next thing is gp array actually the you know this is the outer liquid surface which was outside the glass and let's set it this one actually i did nothing you can say i just put a simple liquid from here just drag and drop on gp array and you can see pretty liquid here i mean i'm gonna change few properties but let me copy paste we do paste linked when you know okay it have already done the job material okay and I'm, I'm gonna do it from here yes so we got liquid at both surfaces here so there's a change i have done in the liquid properties and the liquid properties the change is i've increased the transparency distance let's make it you know six and uh, again don't go for the centimeters because you know I didn't do anything. I, you know, messed up in the import thing uh, when I imported it from 3ds Max and the unit conversion, conversion. There was a problem, I guess. So the next thing we have, we are done with here. And the next thing we have is the cloth. Yes, we have a little headband here. So let me find. Uh, yes, now we need to edit this guy. So for this guy, I'm going to use real clothes. This is it. Just drag and drop. So we get nothing. So let's get something in return. Double click. So this, we are going to use UV. Why we are using UV? So I'm going to cover all of this stuff in my tutorial series. So then enter. So we got something. So what is the difference between units and UV? So just to show you, let me, you can see. When I click on UV, you get gibberish thing. But when I click on UV, you get uh, you know perfect surface. So the thing is, uh, whenever we work on a you know surface, we actually use UV because the three D coordinates do not work on the surfaces perfectly so if we want to you know apply any texture or anything we go for the uv so i'm not going to change anything right down here and yes i'm going to use fibers flyway fibers to you know make it look real the fibers is it's enough i'm not going to mess with the property just it's done now this guy is saying click on this one to geometry node because you know the fibers are now you can see the few fibers here now next thing is i am going to change its color because uh, in the animation you might have seen that the color was uh, the upper one was saffron center one was white and the last one was actually green so i'm going to put some white color here you can see it's cool it's really cool. I mean, come on, it's really cool. So the next clothes that we have is a green band. So I'm gonna copy this one, copy material and paste on this one. Paste uh, material actually. We use paste linked material when we connect the material properties of two things. So double click, go to material graph and let's put some which color I'm gonna put on this one? Let me see. I guess saffron. Wait. Actually, it's a green band. I messed up. So I'm gonna need a green band here. So the green band is here. I'm gonna just put some plain stuff here. 
in the tutorial series actually i'll be covering all of this stuff like geometry label bump opacity all of the parameters for right now let's just complete this one so got green in the bottom and uh, red is here so get us the red surface here actually saffron i guess they call it saffron wow we still have to apply the material here so just copy here and make it visible first and paste so it's also green let's make it saffron so click delete i got my saffron color here yes i'm just gonna put one it here So you can see actually there's uh, two things warp and weft warp connect, uh, controls this direction and weft controls the perpendicular direction so we're done with this flow wave fibers are actually you know pretty much cool stuff and these were actually introduced in real clothes and the fudge both of them were introduced in keyshot 9 so we're done with this one too let's see first how we are looking Let's see everything. Oh my goodness, it looks cool. It's fine. Maybe too much yellow is liquid, but fine. So in the end, I'm gonna add, use this, edit this particular foam string. So let me disable everything. You know, you should do this like uh, disabling other components when you are rendering a particular component because you know for each or takes a lot of CPU process and you know you can ease this one. So let's go to scattering medium. So I'm gonna use the scattering medium here. Just drag and drop this one. Looks cool. Oh, it didn't work again let's do it yes it works this time double click now i'm gonna change few parameters the transparency distance of 10 centimeters the density i want pretty much lower one is fine and uh, let's see what it is direction uniform i wanted uniform i want uh, so let's go to material graph this is where the magic happens let me zoom it first so i'm gonna use my beautiful thing i like this one actually this this texture actually you should you know google search the foam thing and you'll get a beautiful texture and i got this one so let's see the size press c on the texture and you will see it This is fine. Yes, this is fine. Now the next thing that we are going to use is the displays. Go to geometry, displays, put it here. Connect it with geometry, connect it with this one. I'm gonna change the geometry properties right now. So for the geometry, I'm gonna use 10 centimeter. The values are nice. I don't want any changes. Just press on the geometry node. It's gonna take time. Yes, I think we got something like what we wanted. But the thing is, we want it in you know the white color because foam is of white color. When in a liquids like beer, go to material, plastic. It's nice. Connect it with label. Add label now we have actually image i want to actually make it totally white i do not have a you know a specification i want this kind of white i don't have a grayscale kind of thing just connect it with diffuse yeah, diffuse 
I think uh, we are onto something. Yes, it looks pretty nice. So we are done here. So the next thing, uh, let us see what we have done actually. So the next thing that we are going to do is, you know, make us make our environment here. So we are kind of done. To make the environment, let's first get into the performance mode. So performance mode will turn down a lot of things. So edit. Is it activated? Yes, it's activated. Go to edit. Not here. Models. I need a backdrop ramp. Yes, I got it. Actually, we are building a right now a studio where we are going to render it. So we need to edit it. Let's pursue. Just click on this guy. I need it back. Position. Move tool. I just need scaling. You can go. So let's see what we need to edit. It's too big. First of all, it's too big. Let me lower the values. Okay, not too thin. We're fine. Yes, I want it lower. Now this one has to be more or less. This is fine. X has to be more lower. It's okay. Just move tool and snap to ground. Now the thing is on ground. Now let's see. Is it matching with our design? I guess. Nope. There's no problem. Yes, it's fine. Now what we are going to do? We have actually right now we have a you know the backdrop that we needed. Now we need a light uh, two planes which we are going to use. Edit add geometry. Then we need a plane. So I, I'm going to use these planes as a light source for the studio. So I need translate, not scale. Let's bring the thing back up, up actually. So it's okay. I want more height here. Yes, it's fine. I need one more plan for the side. Add geometry. Lane. So let's play with this one. I have to zoom it. And I need to rotate it. You can see it. Actually, I'm gonna cover a lot about the studios because you know, if you have a model and uh, if you are you no, know, if you have a model, then you need a perfect studio for rendering it. Without studio, you can't get a perfect render. So I think uh, it's fine. I think I should rotate it more. I need reflections. Yes, it's fine. So I'm going to apply here the lights, the area lights actually here. So let go to the materials. Um, light. Yes, light is here. And just drag and drop. I'll edit it later. Doesn't matter when I, when I edit it. So the first one is the top one. Double click. I'm going to use the what here. Actually, let's make it dark, then, you know, color it, then light it. It will feel it a lot cooler here. So it's going to take time. Yes. Why we can't see anything? Because performance mode is on. Let's so see magic when I turn the what. Yes, we got something. Let me zoom it here. So the color which I used was I like yellow and uh, what was what value was 
वन नाइन फोर जीरो इट्स परफेक्ट नाउ इट्स व्हाट इज विजिबल इन साइड ऑफ एब्सोल्युटली नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड दिस दिस गाय लेट्स चेंज इस टू व्हाट the value is 1200 and it's enough i i'm going to change the color here now i think we are done with the studio too so we are actually done with the whole tutorial here yes i forgot the animation so let's make a camera right now i don't need you bro from this side so you can see i have a scene here so i'm going to use a camera here add camera this so i'm going to put it render so let's define our render so i am rendering in the liquid material let me go to the liquid double click material graph yes so you guy you come here so i'm going to animation and curve fade so i'm going to cover all kind of soft animation including the product animation camera animation there's a lot you need you should know so i'm going to cover all of them so i'm going to cover it with you double click on the animation and it will ask you things i want animation to end for like what 8 seconds and uh, yes i am fine with the straight one you can see it's going to go straight so let's see our animation what we have designed press a button for the animation i got a beautiful timeline here so let me put this thing on top so when you can see the, you will see the changes when i yes you can see the changes so in this tutorial of uh, animation what is happening the color of the liquid is only changing so it's fine actually so if you want us to i'm at the zeros right now when another thing that's the pretty much important before you go to render i mean go to camera for the our image camera and reset so this was our scene so if you are going for render uh, before going to render always check your you know you can also play with these photographic exposure and these values i mean they make it a lot nice look i mean look there at that moment it looks pretty much nice i mean i have a instagram page i have loaded the model and this tutorial one is lot better than that so white balance value you can control here the contrast A high contrast value is a lot fine. Yeah, you can see it. It looks fine, absolutely fine. Now you can go to lighting. You can you know affect the shadow quality to five if you want the perfectness. Ground illumination and uh, ray bounces actually control the values. I mean, if you can uh, let me show you something. So you can see the liquid right now here. So when I you know increase the ray values, you can you can see the there is a more connect correctness. there's more brightness and the more properties of liquid you can see so actually the more values you take in ray bounds and the global illumination more real realistic you get and caustic deals with the you know uh, light reflections from uh, cur curvilinear surfaces right now you can see i have changed uh, my properties to higher at uh, every place because you know there's a side quality of 5 ray bounces to 30 and you can see it. actually i'm going to cover all of these things the scene the material the camera environment everything even the image so in the tutorial which i'll make and you can you know apply depth of field if you want but my hardware is not going to support it so anyway to render the animation go to the render and animation you can choose the entire duration here and if you want the frames choose this one if you want videos i prefer the you know the frames now you can choose your preset here and uh, what you want 
and the most important thing how much samples do you want so this is for it we got what we wanted let me lower it first so it's you know as i lower down the values we got a beautiful picture here so i will be starting a uh, tutorial series on t shot as as whenever i will feel uh, you know finish the grasshopper tutorial series so if you want to learn then subscribe and i'm going to cover actually all of the things which you are seeing here